hello everyone and welcome back to anime chan today we're watching episode 311 of fairy tale i don't actually know what episode it is in this season but i'm super excited for it i am gonna be honest i am look going to be looking out for the animation in the next couple of episodes and towards the end because people were saying everyone was saying that they were keeping the budget for the last like the last half of the um, season because you know that's the best part and that makes sense if that's what they only had a limited budget and they wanted to uh, keep it for the biggest part in the season uh, but yeah at the moment my score for it is an eight uh, which it was a lot of it was but I'm starting to think if maybe you know should I be a little bit stricter uh, in terms of the animation so I'm gonna be just keeping an eye out for things that I feel that maybe they could have done better if they actually cared about the anime, um, the studio that makes it. I just have this feeling that they don't really give a fuck about it anymore, but that is not something I read, not something based on any professional opinion. Uh, it's just how I, it's just like a vibe that I'm getting, but we'll see. Maybe they really did keep the budget for the best part. So let's go. Who's she fighting there? That's that's her mom. Look there. It's her mom's shoes. She's fighting her mom here. Whoa. Oh. She looks like E.T. Great, そんな力でも感傷できないなんて。一体どうな。停止した時の中動き。私じゃどうにもできない。そいつは悪魔だ。あ、シストレ。ENT。ENT。ナツはお前にそいつの何がわかるのさ本当なんかよりひょっとと分かるいやいや裏表のないまっすぐな人だってのは信じてるこう出てるのよあれなるほど違うから夏は私がギルドに入ることになったきっかけなんだだから夏お
スティングって言っても俺もナツさんもこの時の記憶はないけどなあんな役そう本物の俺は今頃アルバレス軍と戦ってるよセリフはどこだここはナツさんの心の中だぜあんたの意識がゼルフを消しただけささっぱり意味がわからんつ、like、いてみなよみんなどこだ<笑>この匂いは<笑>何も考えられない助けて助けてよそうだね。しかし、俺の方がダメージが軽いし、二人同時に行くより、お嬢が後ろに控えていてくれた方が心強い。
Very interesting. He's a he's a very like you know how our, our base psychology, base biology. I don't know. He's a very he has mag magic. If you can get past the whole like sex part, it's actually very interesting. It's just that the anime is so it's more lighthearted, so it approaches it in a, in a funny, lighthearted way. But actually, it's very interesting. <laughs> It's not a small fry. Logan, Chicago, Carrizo, Hakuadu, Moe, take stars. Ooh, got this bump. Miss it, they are all. Wow, that's not so good. Kimmy or Tausta. Give us more of Natsu's mind. Wow, they just totally spoiled the next episode, didn't they? Sting absorbed Rogue's power and overwhelms Rakade with white and shadow magic. Okay, so I'm not gonna... Well, it's not like we don't know uh, the good guys always win in fairy tale. It is a shonen after all. The good guys always win. <laughs> So I guess it's not really a spoiler. The, the point of it is to see the fight, so... Look at his face. This is the ugliest face I've ever seen. Oh, which invites Sting into a terrifying storm. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with a seven for animation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Okay, so story is still nine. I still think the story of Fairy Tale is awesome. I love it. Characters still ten. Obviously, I, I've walked a very long journey with these characters i've absolutely fallen in love with many of them and it's really hard to choose a favorite in fairy tale like it, it, it because there are so many uh, so characters are still a 10 out of 10 for me visuals i'm gonna have to go seven i think it's still a good score it's not a great score but it's good and and that's how i feel about the visuals overall like there's been great moments there's been bad moments so if you take the average of that well i think well a seven is, is fine for now i think a seven is still fine good um audio the audio is amazing as always uh an eight and a strong eight and then enjoyment overall of the season is a nine i'm gonna go with an 8.5 uh, because here and there there are episodes where like i feel they include parts where I'm like, for example, uh, not in today's episode, but in past episodes, there were scenes where they show other mages, um, and and they're like these, like not first, you know, you get first characters like MCs, main characters, and then like sick su supporting characters that support the main cast, and then you get like. For example, let's let's see, Grey, Lucy, Natsu are main, right? And then Kana, 
Elfman, Elf, Elf, I don't know how to say his name, Elfman, Elfman, um, Mira Jane, Biscar, they're all supporting, Angel supporting. Then you get like background characters and there were times in, in this season overall where it's these background characters and there's this still image and then they say things and it's like, like so irrelevant and like that just makes me feel like you, you use like seven seconds for that and like if you if you take into account like in in one episode how many times they do that it's like it's like 20 seconds and if you think about it they could have done that 20 seconds they could have used for i don't know a bit of a longer fight uh so anything to do with the main characters like give that 20 seconds to someone else to something more important you know when you think about um, manga or anime, every second counts. Everything they, they did is something that took time to animate. So if you're gonna give 20 seconds, if you're gonna use 20 seconds, don't use it on, on some background characters and then make it just a still with a voice over a random voice, but then it, it doesn't contribute to the story at all. Like, I don't know. So that bothered, that, that bothered me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Um, cause not because it didn't happen, because it didn't happen once or twice. It happened quite a few times, and that definitely made me feel like, yeah. So I'm gonna go with a an eight point. Where is there we go? An eight point five for enjoyment. So the overall score it went down from an eight point eight to an eight point five, which is still not bad. But the thing is, I know how good this anime can be if they just took a little bit of time with the animation. Cause I don't know. The animation really can change the tone of an anime and although Fairy Tales tone has always been more lighthearted, more fun, um, it's like compare the animation now to the start of Fairy Tale. I feel like they did it was better back then compared to now, but this is like years later. So shouldn't they have improved? Like you, you're not supposed to dig reg regress you're supposed to make progress so that's a little bit of a critique um, but it's not the end of the world you know fairy tale still fairy tale it's it's funny it's got the uh, best character some of the best characters that I personally know in anime um and yeah this episode was fun it, it was a strange title for the episode seeing as we learned almost nothing new like most of what he said we already knew we did see his a, a flashback of Natsu's parents so that was nice but the rest was like okay we know this and uh, the episode is called Natsu's mind and yet we didn't see much of that so that I guess bothered me a little uh, of this episode specifically um, but I really liked seeing more of Sting. He is a supporting character, he's not main. So this was very much a, a supporting episode, if you could put it that way. But it was still good because Sting is one of the more interesting supporting characters. Um, because you get like, also I guess different levels of supporting. For example, I would say uh, Kana, Juvia, they're, especially Juvia is, is, and Luxus for example, they are higher tier supporting characters compared to for example Biska, um, Midnight, uh, not Nob. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like there are definitely tiers to supporting characters and Sting is definitely uh, higher on the on that tier list. So I liked I kind of liked that there was a an episode kind of dedicated to um, his progress from when we met them to now you know they're still part a big part of the story and I like that um, I should stop saying um I should just learn how to not say um and just not make a noise in that time <laughs> but now the next episode is called S Sting the white shadow dragon and this was definitely an introduction to that fight but I felt like this episode might as well have been called that because that's more of what we got. 
Um, I actually really, compared to last time, last episode, I'm actually really more interested in Larkade's magic. Hey, look, there's a Web Africa ad because I've been looking at them and thinking of getting new new internet and, and they're the ad. I mean, they're the, they're the one I'm looking at right now. Anyway, what was I talking about? Larkade's magic. Yes, um, so at first you are a little bit, because the way that his magic is portrayed because it's 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 sex food and sleep those are like our carnal desires and if you think about it in that way like it is weird like how can you portray sex magic and it, it not make not make it look dirty so yeah the last episode was definitely like <gasps> but when you think about it a car carnal magic like his is actually very interesting and um that's why i'm so excited to keep reading the manga uh where am i right now in the manga i think let's actually see i have um i update my manga list uh fairy tale chapter and it's not updated is um am, is it am i at 23 i don't know i think it may be a little bit further than chapter 23 a little bit further but not much like let's say chapter 30. um so yeah i'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing his magic but i mean that's so far away from me <laughs> by the time i get there uh this will this season will be over but yeah i'll i'll probably in the future do videos when i'm um reading the fairy tale manga maybe like every 100 chapters or something i will make a video highlight some of my favorite parts um if there's any of you that are reading the manga that are even caught up to date just say hey me me me, me <laughs> in the comments so i know because i think that's actually very interesting um to see or to hear from you guys you know how has how is this final season being adapted um according to your expectations and here's a question question of the day for everyone not just manga readers compared to the start of fairy tale how do you feel about the animation now do you feel it's improved do you feel it's the same or do you feel it's uh better i doubt there's going to be anyone who says better but i mean maybe i'm wrong for me, it's definitely the tone of the animation, if you can even put it that way, has changed. It's like they're taking a lot of shortcuts and that definitely makes me sad um, because Fairy Tale really is one of my favorite anime. I've been watching it for quite a long time compared to other anime that I'm watching uh, because it's, it is one of the first anime I started. But I don't want to complain there is um, what makes up for all of that is really the story and the characters so honestly I, I definitely feel it deserves an 8.5 um, if I had to round it off I would just give it an 8 but I do the decimals because that helps me uh, sort my best to worst that I'm watching right now um, not best to worst because the worst that I'm watching right now is an 8 <laughs> but that's not even a word but i like seeing okay my favorites right now that i'm watching is dororo rising of the shield hero welcome to the boardroom attack on titan demon slayer tokyo ghoul those are all above nine then um the one that has the lowest score but it's still amazing is is a certain magical index the thing is the most uh, all of the anime that i'm watching right now are, are mostly a requested one so people don't generally request bad anime or suggest bad anime so that's why like everything I'm, that i'm watching is is all really good and i like doing the decimals because it can really for example attack on titan above demon slayer by a point one welcome to the ballroom above attack on titan by point one obviously different genres so not comparing the two at all um but if i had like that's my score in terms of the genre welcome to the ballroom is a 10 and attack on titan is a 9.9 .9. um but I'd love to hear your score of fairy tale. <sighs> I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I just wish that people would learn how to say, you know, I love this. I don't like this without bashing. I feel like there, there is, you know, there's etiquette, manners, but I, 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 I promise you guys, I block people. If they just talk shit about fairy tale and they're just like, shit is anime, 
fucking blah, 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 I block you. Like, my channel is here so we can have conversations, constructive conversations. Conversations. So if if you're not going to contribute to that, then I don't care. I don't need your view, your like, your dislike, whatever. I, I, I don't condone bashing. Uh, but by all means, feel free to hear your thoughts, share your scores, whether you love it, whether you dislike some parts. I'm looking forward to reading through them. Uh, I'll see you guys in next week's episode. I'm looking forward to the fight between Sting and Larcade because Lark, uh, Sting's animation now towards the end with the shadow mix with his shadow white magic mix it looks really cool the animation of that looks really cool and i'm looking forward to seeing uh, their fights hopefully animated with that level of care <laughs> like they actually gave a fuck about that uh, but once again these are this is just my personal opinion if you guys think it's animated really well i'd love to hear that i'd love to hear like why you think that um or or for example if you think that i'm delusional and fertile has always looked exactly like this totally let me know that <laughs> okay i'll see you guys in the next episode bye